Hello, New York. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 14. Good morning, guys. We just woke up. We're sleepy. We stayed up so late last night all talking. It was so fun. But paying the price <laughs> this morning. We weren't drinking or anything. We were just like talking. It was like sleepover, slumber party vibes. It was so cute. Um, so we just woke up at the hotel. We are headed to the Allure store again for breakfast. And they're doing like some beauty services to get your day started. So pretty pumped. Here is the fit. Very casual. Oh, I forgot to put on my earrings. I guys, secret between you and me. I haven't washed my hair s since last Tuesday. Mm. I know, it's Tuesday today. It's been a week. I'm washing it today though. Like it's actually happening. It needs to happen. So hair is up because we're about to go shower and wash it. Wearing the bar sweatshirt. Sweatpants are boundless laundry. And then my Adidas sneakers. And that's the best it's gonna get today. We are home sweet home. A quick little staycation with Allure that was so fun. I'm about to take the shower. If you guys know what the shower is, it's like when you do everything. You shave, you wash your hair, you scrub, you do all the things. I thought I'd highlight what products I'll be using because I love seeing what's in people's shower and like what they're using at the time. So right now I'm using the Crown Affair Shampoo and Conditioner. Love this stuff so much. My amazing video editor Jordan actually put me on to them. She was like, look at my hair and how it air dried. And it air dried so nice, so soft, and I've used it and I love it. For body wash, I'm using the Labo Centel 33. It smells amazing. Marco got me this for Secret Santa. Coming over here, I love my Billy Razor so much. Um, European Wax Center Body Polish. Great for in-between waxes to exfoliate. A little Bare Minerals cleanser, some aloe body wash is amazing too. I love this Orbe clarifying shampoo as well. So yeah, that's what's in my shower. My skin is so glowy from my gua sha I got at the Allure store, which was so cool. But I simply need to wash my hair. Um, and today is the day. I'm so excited. Just got out of the shower. I Uber Eats um, by a bar, I think it's called. It's on Mulberry. Does this not look dreamy? It's a pataya bowl, a ginger shot, and a green juice, of course. I just really was craving some fruit in my life. Currently getting up yesterday's Vlogmas right now. Oh, I don't even have the Yule log on. What am I doing? Um, we got a big day ahead. We have to podcast in a little, have a fun little party thing tonight. I also, oh my gosh, this is seriously such a dream. It has pineapple and uh, kiwi but I have blueberries and I'm kinda, I think I'm gonna put some blueberries on this. I'm just gonna put my own blueberries. Hopefully I can still make it pretty. I love how they like line them up. Like this is, ah, all right, that should do. I've made a mess of myself, but that's beautiful, right? Just got my vlog mess up and this literally just made my life. Someone DM'd me the Danielle Carolyn lunch, green beans and rice and black beans. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm drinking my second cuppa of the day, Gals on the Go mug. It's seriously the most amazing mug to hold in your hand. I love just big mugs like this, and they are still on sale. Um, link down below, also galsonthegopodcast.com, because um, I know you guys are going to ask. <laughs> oh, my lipstick, that's a good little mark. Apparently it's ladylike to like... Once your lipstick gets on one part of the cup, you like stay there. I need to do that because then like my whole mug or cup or whatever, it's just lips everywhere. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I don't know if this is random. Brooke's on her way over right now. We're about to record an episode of Gals on the Go. I am so excited for this episode. It's our last episode that we're actually doing together. Next week, I'm doing a solo and then the week after she's doing a solo because we like to do those every now and then to kind of check in and it'll be really fun. Um, and we just didn't want to go back to virtual. We wanted to be able to 
um, come back in the new year with our video component back in the studio together. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so definitely go listen to our podcast. We post new episodes every single Wednesday, Gals on the Go. It's a really fun time. Today we have a lot of fun topics that we want to talk about. We're going to talk about and just like that and the Peloton drama, all of that. Tiffany Ferg, she's a fellow YouTuber and I've been subscribed to her forever. I know Brooke has too. And she just uploaded a video this past week about how a lot of people in specific influencers are leaving from LA to move to NYC or people just are leaving LA in general or people are just moving to New York in general because I remember I can literally see Brooke walking here right now oh my gosh <laughs> um, because it's so crazy like if you know me and you've been watching my videos for a while you know I've like wanted to move to New York City my whole life but it is so crazy after I watched that video I was like wow a lot of people have been moving to the city and it's so crazy so um I'm excited to talk about that with Brooke on the podcast. I'm not going to share any more of my thoughts because we're going to really talk about it on the podcast. We're going to talk about our experience meeting um, some of the Outer Banks cast and Addison Rae. There's just like all these different topics. We're going to recap our SantaCon experience and how we feel. I am just so excited. It's like our last bang of 2021 um, before we do our solo. So that's that. And then after that, we are heading over to our friend Kit's house. She invited us over for a little pajama holiday party i'm really looking forward to that she said she's giving us pjs upon arrival so i'm just probably gonna i'm wearing um alicia's vlogmas merch right now it's so comfy so i'm probably just gonna come in whatever clothes and then we'll change there she's having us at her house i'm so excited i've never actually been to her house so it'll just be a fun cute little girls evening and then tonight i really want to share i have like so many products i've been loving right now not sponsored or anything there's just little things in my life that i just needed to share with you guys um so yeah i'll share some of those later with while i'm doing my skincare or something it'll be a good time but brooke's almost here i'm gonna set up the microphone and we're gonna get to recording We just finished recording the podcast. We're about to head over to Kit's house and I'm so excited to see what the PJs look like and change and have like a little girly, little slim. I was just saying that at the market for some pajamas. You did say you wanted some pajamas. I'm just gonna take a quick shot, huh? Oh, what was that? Ginger fresh? shot, yeah. Fresh shot from a buy a bar on Mulberry. Mm. Um, I'd offer you one, I wish I got you one. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, and I just brushed my teeth. This is not smart. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, that feels great. Woo! Oh, that actually. It was a lovely evening. I left with a fun little pair of PJs, which is always really nice. I am, my tiredness just hit me, like for certain. I was running off very minimal sleep, but it was so much fun. Just like chilling at kid's house. Like we were, it was so wholesome. And we all literally just like sat on the ground in our PJs and talked about life. It was just so nice. I want to do more. We were all like, we should do more stuff like this. Like. We don't need to go to dinner to catch up. We can sit on someone's living room floor. Her house is literally stunning. I was not okay. I was like, I'm in a movie. It was so beautiful. So sweet of her to host it. Um, so I'm taking off my makeup now. But I do want to share with you guys some stuff. I'm just loving it right now. Ryan's about to come over. I'm trying to do this before he gets here, actually. Um, I just have stuff I'm loving, and I thought I'd talk about them. Um, and overlay pictures of the stuff while I do my skincare. I literally made a list yesterday because I was like, oh my god, I just need everyone to know about these. The first thing I want to talk about are, I featured them in yesterday's vlogmas. I was wearing these Barefoot Dreams pants. Like, they are they look like pajama pants. Like, I don't know if I'd wear them out in public. I mean, I would, actually. But, like, they're not fashion by any means, you know? They're literally the blanket, the Barefoot Dreams blanket. 
it's literally that but in pant form and they are so soft they're so perfect for winter like with some ugg slippers or just any slippers of any sort and like a comfortable sweatshirt they are so soft i just like love soft things on my legs like nothing better than freshly shaved legs and some lotion and like a soft blanket um so yeah i'll link all these things i'm talking about down below i've just been loving it i'm like attacking my face i know i know makeup wipes aren't supposed to be amazing for your face it's just i'm lazy right now next thing i do want to shout this out because anytime i show my laptop and vlogs people go nuts for like a story i get so many replies like where's your laptop case from also i'm using the sunday riley ceo glow serum i love stuff it's from chicgeeks.com or like the brand i think i got it off of like Saks or one of those websites a department store it's so i literally bought it right before i moved to new york because i used to have like in college i had a computer case with a ton of stickers on it and i still love computer cases with stickers on it but i was like i'm post-grad like i need to be mature not that you getting a different computer case is mature but i was just like i want to like switch it up um so it's this really cool like faux crocodile um laptop case and everyone always asks about it so i'll link that below for you guys because i love it next up fraser fur candle from i think the brand's called times like t-h-y-m-e-s and also the wine wicks uh cypress candle it just smells like a christmas tree and i just love those candles because i will only burn them obviously during the holidays because i like to keep holiday things in that time to make it special just like holiday music stuff like that been loving that candle under eye patches of any sort I'm obsessed. You guys know it's been a part of my morning routine. I kind of started it during Vlogmas, maybe like a week before Vlogmas. All of a sudden, every morning when I wake up, I just want to put on eye patches, like the under eye ones. I have so many different brands that I like. I haven't found one that I'm like, this is life changing. I love them. And I don't know how much of a difference they make. But like when I do take them off after having them on in the morning, I will notice like I just look nice and awake underneath. So like here's some from Patchology. I use these sometimes. I love the Chlorine ones. They're like bright blue and they're like gel consistency. The Peter Thomas Roth ones. Like literally any eye patch. I will, oh, the Skin brand, S-K-Y-N. Obsessed. Me like trying to like lymphatic drainage. I don't even know what I'm doing. I do not know. My next favorite, I have them on right now. My Simon Miller slippers. These are expensive. I'll be honest. They are pricey, but they like are really good quality they're so cute and they are platform i love anything platform um, i got them off of revolve a great last minute gift because revolve ships so fast but they are pricey um but they are my slippers of the season i literally wore them to kit's house i've never like worn them maybe i've worn them out once but like not on purpose i try to keep slippers you know to the house <laughs> my next favorite makeup clips i got these on amazon in a pack of a ton i literally gave some to brooke because she was gonna order some and i was like literally do not it just doesn't put creases in your hair and then it keeps your hair out of your face without having to put a headband on or pull your hair back so nice next up would be my boar bristle brush that i just got i showed it in last week's vlog when i got it in the mail um i literally got it on amazon i'll link the exact one down below but it just looks like this it's just like soft bristle and i love brushing it through my hair because it Look how soft it makes your hair look immediately. Soft, 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 shiny, smooth. And it's so nice for when you're trying to pull your hair back to do it in a claw clip or a sleek bun. I always saw people use this for that, but I never like owned one. But it seriously just like pulls your hair back in the most perfect seamless way. Because sometimes if you use a regular brush to try and pull your hair back, it just gets like bunched. Whereas this, it's like smooth, slick to your head. And I love it. I'm like obsessed with this brush so much and it's great. And I understand the hype why people like it. It's not like the only brush I can own. You do still need the other brush, but look how sleek it is. And my last favorite is a song by SZA. It's been out for a while. It's called Good Days. You guys have probably heard it, but sometimes if I'm just like in a weird mood or if I'm feeling anxious, I'll literally be like, Alexa, sorry, I don't want to trigger yours. Like play Good Days by SZA. Puts me in the best mood. It's just like the intro is like, da, 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 good day on my mind. Da, 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 da. You guys have probably heard it, but I don't know. That song has been speaking to me lately, and I just want to share that. Oh, I'll end with a right here. This is the Ella Luz All Day Beauty Water. I just love a night routine. 
I'm like relaxed right now. I'm tired, but I'm like relaxed. But yeah, Ryan's coming over. I literally realized I didn't eat dinner. She had like a cheese board there and I definitely snacked on it, but we might make some broccoli and pasta or something. I don't really know. Um, and like watch a Christmas movie and just chill. I'm just excited to hang out with Ryan and just like chill and like literally sit on the couch and just watch a movie and cuddle. Honestly, I just want to cuddle right now. So I want to open the goodie bag really quick. She gave us goodie bags as we left. It was like a true little like summer party. It was honestly so pure. Let's see. Oh, mini vav. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Sunday silks. What's this? These are all things I think that are sold on Amazon. Oh, what a beautiful eye mask. This looks heavenly, honestly. Stop it right now. It's a face mask. It's a clean vegan mask, olive. Ooh, I heard olive oil is very moisturizing. Love that for us. And then, ooh, we've got some white fuzzy socks. Wow, that's like the perfect little goodie bag. Thank you, Kit. Thank you, Amazon. Love it. The vibes are right. I just, wow, love a good Christmas scape on the YouTube. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? You brought chicken and laundry. What's your favorite things? Ooh. Look who's here. Ryan. Hey. Santa Claus. What up? We, he's showing me a YouTube video about something. How, how tender. Mm-hmm. I just got so sleepy and listening to like lullaby Christmas music doesn't help. Yep. He walked in, he was like, can we like, that's something. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to, what do you want to make? Pasta, chicken, both, broccoli? Yeah, let's make chicken, both. Or we could do chicken, broccoli, and rice. It works. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It was a lovely day and stay tuned because tomorrow, Wow, tomorrow's my last day I will be posting a Vlogmas video. Very sad, but it just, it'll be good. And yeah, if you haven't seen all my Vlogmases, just go watch the rest. Or you can watch mine from last year too. Ryan's in them in last year at the Santa hat as well. Yep. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.